win home is for anyone who wants to make any place a home. You, my customers, participated in this collection and knew I really wanted to bring print to my bedroom and to yours. I asked you, what are your favorite prints? You love florals and you love animal prints. I brought you your two favorites all in one. If you look very, very carefully at this collection, every floral that you see, every leaf, every vine is made up of animal prints. And in every collection, we have an entire apparel collection that goes with it that makes you the centerpiece of your home. It's all about an easy, elegant, comfortable lifestyle. So it is an hour of Win Home. And when you think of the woman who brings it to us, Marla Wynn, um, you think of easy elegance and style and luxury. That's what she brings in her apparel. That's what she brings in her jewelry and also to her home line. And that's what you're gonna have a chance to get as well. Um, I wanna share with you, we've got the entire bed. We've got the coverlet, we've got the sheets. Wait until you get um, get a chance to see a close-up look at them. These really are fantastic. These are th 300 thread count. 100% cotton. These are a four piece set of sheets. So the fitted, the flat sheet and the two pillowcases. And this is how you kind of build your bed with the sheets. Then you've got that duvet cover set that we've got coming up for you. We also have those uh, velvet shams. Those are beautiful. You can uh, check those out. And then also that coverlet. We've got it all for you coming up, but look at how elegant that looks. And it's simple and it's easy and you can get it all okay so if you want to go for it please do not wait on the sheets we've got solids and we have um, prints as well so coming up throughout the show okay all right we are gonna get it started with win home easy elegant comfortable lifestyle and that also means a beautiful ambiance everywhere that you look and smell and that's where the candle sets come in i will tell you also everything in this hour is on sale so if you're planning to pick up a few things now would be the time you're going to get the two-piece ceramic candle and um with what i love is they each have their own uh, lid i love the tassel on them they come beautifully boxed they're different colors on the canister but they're also different scents as well so the black one is gardenia and fig the cream is jasmine oh gosh this is hard to choose because they're all good and then this is blue and this is a tuberose magnolia if you're thinking um i love them all Hey, they're on sale. They're on flex pay. Why not do it today? Let me share one more thing before we go to Marla because today is VIP Tuesday. If you have an HSN card, use it because when you spend $99 or more, you get $20 off instantly. Save $20 on orders of $99 or more with your HSN card and this code 181608. It gives you license to shop and pick up as much as you're falling in love with. If you don't have an HSN card, apply for one and when you're approved, you can get in on those great savings as well. But let's go in and talk and see Marla at home. Marla, so, <laughs> so great to see you. Good to see you. I want you to know yesterday it was summer in Colorado <laughs> and right now yeah. it's snowing outside. <laughs> oh it's absolutely snowing outside, which makes it a perfect day yes. to talk candles, right? Yes. So, you know, and Walter can't decide if he wants to curl up on the bench or roam around. Mm. We're all so confused by the weather here in Denver, I must <laughs> tell you. But our candles were a labor of love. I have always, always, always had candles in my home. It's an obsession with me. Mm -hmm. And these are a, if you want a heavy fragrance, these are not the candles for you. Okay. I don't like an, oh, you know, it's like when you put on too much perfume and someone walks by and you go, that's like too much of a good thing. Thank yes. you. Um, so for me, I always want to have that aroma. I don't want it to overwhelm the house, mm -hmm. but I have an obsession with flowers. My kids say to me all the time, mom, do you realize if you didn't buy flowers all the time, you could probably build a house <laughs> and they're probably <laughs> right because I love flowers and there's certain fragrances that I love. Tuberose is such a fantastic, fantastic 
um, smell. Why? Mm. It, it does have a real presence to it. It's almost a sweet and sour kind of slightly salty smell. I, I can't explain it, but I do love, absolutely love that fragrance. You're going to get little notes of cloves and vanilla in this mm -hmm. and that sort of white flower, orange flower feeling. The gardenia and fig, first of all, I live for the season of figs. Mm -hmm. I love to barbecue my figs. I love to make oh, wow. fig jam. I put fig jam on, for example, all of my lamb and my pork dishes that mm. we prepare here at home. And not only do I love the flavor of fig, I love the scent of fig. It's a very unique, unusual scent. But what you're really getting is the gardenia in there. Mm -hmm. And you'll get sort of earthy amber and sort of champagne kind of scents from that. And then jasmine, I, I, I'm sorry, but like I, I really have a hard time. I'm glad I have all of them <laughs> because the jasmine to me is very rich and it's very sweet. Um, it's also used a lot in Hindu and Muslim traditions mm -hmm. to bring that sweetness and the perfume of sort of love. And it's also very relaxing. Right. So I, I, I can't pick a favorite because I, I, I did smell tests on dozens and dozens and dozens of mm -hmm. samples. And this is where we went with it. Ours, you know, the tradition of candle making goes back 5,000 years and it really started with religious services, mm -hmm. right? There is something very peaceful very warm, very sort of grounding about the feeling of a candle. And I will tell you, I, I always have a candle lit in my house. It is just the way I do it. Ours are predominantly soy wax, which is more environmentally friendly. Paraffin is usually made from petroleum mm -hmm. and not where I wanted to go. So this right. one has a cleaner burn. And by the way, 74 to 75, 70 to 75 hours of burn on these. Wow. And that's, that's a nice burn on those, yes, I it think. Yes, it is. And they're beautifully boxed. They look beautiful. On, Aren't they? E even when they're not lit, I love that they have a lid. You did a lot of these beautiful extra touches that come along with these. Um, so they make really great gifts. And think about it, Mother's Day is coming. And if you have gifts to give multiple you know, moms in your life, what your mom, your grandmom, your sister, your aunt, those kinds of folks think about picking these up and I will tell you the um, the black here is gardenia and fig it is fantastic the cream is jasmine it is fantastic and I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna say now the blue tuberose and magnolia fantastic what I'm saying is you cannot make a bad decision go for the colors that you want or the scent that you want either way less than $25 are you getting two okay seven six eight five six four is the item number on that and um, I do encourage you to get a couple of those all right let's talk about the mirrors that you see right here. These are beautifully carved um, and uh, the, the gorgeous frames in your choice of either gold black, which is the one that you see right here, or gold white. I've never seen um, color combinations like this, Marla, in uh, beautiful mirrors that you're, you can literally put in and around your home in so many areas. Well, so we have what we call the picture wall, and it's been in every home that we've ever lived in. And that's why we'll, we'll be talking about the frames as well. But what I like to do in the entry of, of most of my homes, this one doesn't have an entry per se that I'm renting now, but um, I love to have pictures of my family in unique frames, and I love to have a mirror by the door because, yes, when I go out the door, mm -hmm. I always want a spot check. Yes. So the size of this one is beautiful with a variety of picture frames, and it also is done to have that very antique feel. When I was living in Paris, I used to go to a place called Ile sur la Sorgue, the island on the Sorgue, and the Sorgue is a, is a river in France, uh, up in Provence, in the Provence region. And I would go to the antique stores and I would collect mirrors and I would collect frames. Mm -hmm. And so that whole part of this collection is to give it that antique feeling. And notice also in the mirror, mm -hmm. it's bevel set, right? Yes. So there's beveling on the mirror. Why do I do that? L little secret. If you go into a store and they've just put a flat piece of glass in there, yes. guess what? They cut corners. 
oh. what we did is we shaped our corners. We made sure that all that beveling was in there because everything I do for the home is a lot like everything I do in my apparel collection or in my jewelry. If I don't want to wear it, Yes. If I don't want to hang it on my walls, and I, I do have quite a beautiful art collection, mm -hmm. and I proudly hang this mirror in spaces where I also keep, you know, beautiful paintings that mm -hmm. I've collected over the years. So it's kind of an overall feeling from the candles, which add warmth and mm -hmm. fragrance, to the mirrors, which give you that little spot check. It's a high quality yes. mirror. Have you ever noticed you look in the mirror and you don't look great? Yes. You know, or it distorts. We made sure that we really did a good job. The frames are wood, hand carved. They come from India. They're just absolutely beautiful. They do incredible hand work there. And these are no exception. These are, and, and I'm glad that you were talking about the detail and the importance of the mirror. I, I always say, if I look in a mirror and I don't like what I see, I blame the mirror. I don't. I don't blame myself. <laughs> With this. Well, I, I try and do that. Or when I go into dressing rooms in the stores, I just go, the lighting's bad. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. Like, you know I, I make up a story about lighting to make myself happy. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, but it, it, it's so true. You need to have mirrors and key points in your home. And I love the idea of having this in an entryway where you come and go, doing that last check, but making it something that is a moment and beautiful and a and quiet also, statement. Yes. You can also hang these. Right now we're looking at them in portrait. Yes. But you can also hang them oh. in landscape. Okay. So that you can do it either way. I will tell you something. For those of you who, you know, you've got your kids, your family, and now you've added it to the grandchildren, mm -hmm. creating this little space where there's a mirror, which is a reflection of today, yes. surrounded by images of yesterday, to me has a kind of profound uh, welcome in your home or in a bedroom or in a guest room. And the mirror to me, whenever I look at it, and I have to admit though, sometimes I look in the mirror and I see pictures of me with the kids from like, you know, 30 years ago. And I think, okay, uh, the reflection I'm getting today is a little different, but what I love is to be able to have that very present reflection mm -hmm. and moment yes. surrounded by photography of my family. So I know we have them all on our iPhones, yes. but I'm an old fashioned girl and later we'll talk about the frames that we've done for pictures because they are also hand carved and quite beautiful. For sure, so it's all gonna work together. If you wanna go ahead and exactly. get the mirrors in gold and black or in gold and white, we've got them for you. The overall is 26 inches in height, 20 inches wide and about an inch and a half in depth, okay? And then it's wood, it's composite, and it's metal. That is the, um, you know, the, the the finish on that. Enjoy that. We took almost $100 off of our regular HSN price for those mirrors. Enjoy that. It is our VIP Tuesdays uh, because the entire month of February, I'm sorry, February, April is Customer Appreciation Month. So on VAP Tuesdays, you can save $20 on orders of $99 or, or more with your HSN card and this code, 181608. That's the number. You can do it as many times as you want throughout the day. Now, if you're saying, wait a minute, I want those savings, but I don't have an HSN card, very simply, you can call us or visit hsn.com slash HSN card to apply. And when you're approved, you can save $40 on a single item that you purchase. Okay, Marla, I have got to hear the story of the hair lamp. <laughs> and usually when I'm thinking the hair lamp, I'm thinking hair, but this is the hair lamp. It is, 30, right. it is 33 inches in height. It's 15 inches in diameter. It is so, I'm gonna have a seat next to it. It's so cool and different. Tell us about this one. Well, you know, it's like when I went to develop denim for HSN, I said, if I'm going to do denim, I have to do something really different. If I'm going to do a home line, I'm going to do something really different. And my house is a very eclectic mix of new and old. And every, every, in every room, there's also something that just is what I kind of think of as my smile piece, right? So my mm -hmm. picture wall is my smile piece. The hair lamp, my mom walked in and saw the hair lamp in my office, and she said to me, huh, that is, that's different. And I, and, and I looked at her, and she had a big smile on her face, and I said, exactly, and 
what's on your face, mom? And she said, a smile. <laughs> you walk in and you see this and it's just a smile. This is a customer pick at four with 4.4 4 stars at full price. So all I can tell you is I love my little hair lamp, his little feet, his little tail. We looked at doing giraffes. We looked at doing flamingos. But the hair to me, it's sort of going back to, you know, the Peter Rabbit days of my yeah. childhood kind of a feeling. Now, this piece does come with an LED bulb included, which I love. And I want you to feel the, the shade. Mm -hmm. the this shade is, is velvet. Fantastic. Okay, wow. so I am obsessed with details. And do you see there's also like a little tassel here? Yes. Because on almost every door in my home, I have tassels that I've collected. And then at Christmas time, I take them off all the doors and put them on the Christmas tree. Or as I tell my mom, the Hanukkah bush. Mm -hmm. But I just <laughs> love the feeling of this. I walk into a room and it makes me smile. When I was in studio uh, uh, two weeks ago, we had one on either side of the bed. And if you can do that, it's just, you're just gonna walk in and you're gonna, before you slip into my percale sheets, you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna just have a smile on your face. Yeah. This piece is there not because it's glamorous, it's there because it's clever. Mm -hmm. It makes you smile. And no one who walks into my office doesn't go, oh, Oh. It's just that kind of where'd you get it piece. Yes. But I do love this little velvet um, mm -hmm. uh, lampshade that we've put on it. The finial on top are the little hair, his ears, right? Like hares have different ears than rabbits. And so I chose a hair instead of a rabbit because a rabbit's ears need to come floppy down. Oh. And I wanted them to stand up. So thus, the ch you know, who knew there was a difference between a hair and a rabbit? Who knew? Um, but turns out there is slightly different tails and different ears. But I, this one just, it just walked. I just walk into the room and I smile. And it's, you it's know, one of the reasons I collect Mackenzie Childs because they make me smile. Any yes. kind of pattern, right? Anything that's clever, unusual, mm -hmm. and different because, because some days I just need a smile. And when I walk into that office in the early mornings, one of the first things I do is turn on my little hair lamp. Mm -hmm. And I've had him for almost a year now. And that LED bulb is just going strong. Let me share with you really quickly. You can see we don't have very many of these left. And typically, if you did want to flank a bed, you know, nightstand tables, those kinds of things, you would need to, all right? Normally, our price on this was well more than double what it is now. I would suggest you get it now while we still have a few of them remaining. Marla did mention the tail on a hair and a rabbit are different. There is a tail on this hair, just so you know. Everything about it, the detail is just fantastic. When I touched that velvet shade, all I said was Marla. Yeah, of course it would be velvet. So enjoy this. It's 771-188. We'll let you know when the hair lamps are gone, okay? I, I wanted to also mention, as I'm right next to the bed, I wanted to mention the sheets. And because we've got the, we'll have a full presentation coming up, but these sheets are so beautifully made. They feel great. These are 100% cotton. You're getting the fitted sheet, the flat sheet, and two pillowcases. You're getting your choice of solids or prints. And you may even recognize some of those prints that you see there from Marla's line. Maybe you have some apparel pieces, some loungewear pieces in those prints. But all of the colors are soft and relaxing and inviting into a bedroom. And if you want to go ahead and pick those up, definitely stay close for the presentation because we will have a full presentation on those coming up and we do have all sizes for you on those all right let's start off though with the coverlet that you see right here on the bed and right in front the colors are rose blue mirage and sage okay they're all great but it's about the feel and the texture that you have on this velvet coverlet. These are a sale price. Everything that you see in this hour is a sale price. You do have flex pay. If you're getting the full queen, the flex pay is $23. If you're getting the king, the flex pay is $26. And Marla, I would love to talk about the detail on this coverlet. Well, there is a lot of detail. First of all, when we chose the print for this collection, we asked our customers, what are your favorite prints? And I got 
tons of answers, but the overwhelming majority was florals and animal prints. Mm -hmm. So that is what the print is. And if you look really carefully at the coverlet, you will see that we've used as our stitching and quilting on this, the same exact floral as we do on the duvet cover. And we'll talk about that as well. Now, not everyone loves a duvet. Mm -hmm. I live in them because I, I want whatever's close to me in my bed to be washable every week. I'm like, I'm insane about that. So I do love to have a duvet. And what I do with the coverlet is I keep it folded at the end of the bed. And I want to show you something that's very cool. I'm just using the shams. The back side is also quilted. This is the sham, so you don't see it. But there is a contrast. There's, you know, a texture. So you've got the shiny side on one side of the mm -hmm. quilt, and you've got the plush velvet on the other side. It's very, you can wash this. You can throw it in the dryer. It is absolutely buttery soft. And I like, you know, I created wind layers because I like to layer my clothes. Mm -hmm. Well, it should come as no surprise that I like to layer my bed. <laughs> and I have way more pillows on my bed than any human ever needs. I am ridiculous because every night, you know, I stack up my pillows and some go off the bed and some stay on the bed. And then every morning I have to put them all back. But I like to walk into my bedroom and feel like I've walked into a hotel and my princess bed is done. <laughs> and with this coverlet, you can either use it literally as your sort of a bedspread if you want. Mm -hmm. You can use it as your blanket if you want. Or you can do what I do, which is I fold it up at the end of the bed so that you see the velvet and the satin mm -hmm. side so that you get that high-low kind of mixture of texture, which I'm known for in my apparel. Yes. I really love to do that in, in this as well. The colors are each very different from one another. The pink is a very sort of dusty, rosy, wonderful f color. If you have grays or white, <clears throat> you know, depending on what colors you have in your home, any of the creams, just a little touch of something feminine. Mm -hmm. The green to me is a wonderful color because it's just very sort of nature, goes beautiful with sages, any white walls. If you have yellow walls, you're going to love it with that. Mm -hmm. If you have wallpaper and a lot of pattern, you're going to love this because it'll give your bedding texture, but won't compete with the walls, right? So you're going to mix and match my bedding collection in the exact same way that you mix and match my apparel. The colors go all work together beautifully, and we'll talk about that more a little bit later when we get to the linens right. and the prints. But this is super, super soft, and these shams, we do have shams that go with the cover that you can get to go with the coverlet, mm -hmm. which I love because it gives you this wonderful layering on the bed. So, so what I do is I put my white pill, I put my percale pillow covers in the back behind this. Okay. And then I stack this up and then I put one of the printed pillows in the front. So I have uh, in my, in my storage unit where my bed lives, mm -hmm. uh, because I moved out to Colorado during COVID and left all my stuff in a storage unit. Yes. Um, I have a queen size bed, but I okay. use king size. So I use king size shams on my bed because oh. I want that big full look. Yeah. And then the ones that I put in front of the shams, which are the printed linen, the percale, yeah. those I do in a standard so that there's also depth and a nice balance between all of these. But I will tell you, I'm very persnickety about what we put into our apparel. Yes. I'm equally persnickety about what I put into this. And this is yummy. It is yes, so it yummy is. that I will tell you, my son, Jason, my 28-year-old son, even though this is a floral, yes. Pedro, which color? He took the blue? Yeah, on my son's bed is a blue. Mm -hmm. Now, a blue floral. Now, I don't know how that's working for him, but... <laughs> Uh, he, he, he begged me for them. Yeah. Um, and I said, yeah, I'll, I'll buy you some, you know, I, what, are you sure you want these? Yeah. And this is what's on his bed. And what's the thing he loves most? This piece. This because piece. Because he's soft. It's, you know, he's yes. one of those kids who like, who, who, whenever, when he was growing up, if I put him in a pair of pants that weren't washed and washed denim, mm -hmm. he'd wear like, uh, something, uh, what do you call it? Long underwear underneath. Cause mm -hmm. everything itches that kid. Everything. This is just like being surrounded by fluff. 
It is. It is. It feels like, I, you know, you heard Marla say she's persnickety. I like that word. I do. Um, when it comes to, you know, her clothes and the fabrics that she creates. And it is the same thing with your home line. When you feel this, there is a richness to this that, quite frankly, you just don't feel all the time. There is a lot of bedding out there. I know you can find it everywhere. But if you're somebody who says, it's not about, oh, that's a pretty color. It's about, it's got to be the whole, you know, the whole gamut. It's got to look good to my eye, feel good to my skin, feel good as I'm making it. It's got to just flow. And that's what this is. This is your velvet coverlet. It's not heavy, but it does give you some warmth. It's going to be beautiful on your bed, in your home in rose sage or in blue mirage we've got full queen or king california king and you do have flex pay on those and the full queen the flex pay is 23 dollars. on the king california king it is um or i should say the king it is 26 dollars and 65 cents that's the flex pay so definitely enjoy so we're building the bed now it's time for the sheets okay so you had the you know the velvet coverlet we're gonna kind of go backwards a little bit and share the sheets with you. These are 300 thread count. These are 100% cotton, which we don't say very often. We don't say nearly it as, as often as we would like to, partly because cotton has, the price of cotton has gone up. It's gotten much more expensive. So you see a lot of blends of cotton. But if you are persnickety <laughs> about, your, uh, about your fabrics and you say, I want 100% cotton because it's breathable, it's soft, it holds its color, um, um, and it just looks great, this is what you're getting. You get the fitted sheet, the flat sheet, and two pillowcases. You can get your solids, and this is rose. We have sage. This one is ecru, and we have blue mirage. And then we've got two uh, prints. This is the sage floral. It's a floral animal, and we'll talk about that. And this is the blue mirage floral animal. We've got them in full queen king and California king, and you do have flex pay on those. But Marla, these sheets have already been popular with those who've already jumped in to pick them up. So why did I choose percale instead of sateen? Mm -hmm. Sateen has a great, very smooth finish to it, but it's a warm sleep. And I slept, last night, because I knew it was going to snow, what did I do? My windows are wide open all winter long because I need it as cool as I can get it. And, and cotton does that for you. So how do I make the cotton work for me? One of the things you need to know is let's talk about thread count. I used to think everything I bought needs to be 500 count. And what I learned in doing this is it doesn't necessarily, it's not worth the price. Mm -hmm. That once you hit the kind of 300 count, what you, you are really getting a great count. Um, you want it to be at least 180. Um, but it's, it's, a, it's sort of the same weave as you get in a classic button-down shirt. It's cool and it's crisp, right? And it's also a matte finish, but the more you wash these, the softer they get, the better they get. They are very cool to the touch, and the um, lattice weave gives them a texture, and it's just got that wonderful feeling of cotton. So mm -hmm. if you want a cooler sleep, if you want a very comfy sleep, this is the way to go. Let me talk to you about the way I wash mine, because okay. I also... If I owned an iron, I would iron everything, but <laughs> I don't want to iron anything. So how I do my linens is I wash them as per normal. Mm -hmm. I put them in the dryer, and when they're still just a little bit damp, I fold them over a hanger. Mm -hmm. I smooth them down, right, and I let them dry. Um, and in the summer months, I'll put them outside to do that. I absolutely love them. And we also have so many choices for you. I think we're out of the ecru yes. uh, print, yes, right? Yes, we are. But if you look really carefully, you will see that the florals in the two that are left, in the sage and the blue mirage, have the exact same coloring. Mm -hmm. The print itself is identical. It is the background that changed. Why did I do that? Well, because I like to mix and match. So, for example, I can take the beautiful sage and mix it with the beautiful rose quilt. It works. I can take the sage and obviously 
put it with any of, you know, with the sage quilt, it's beautiful, but I can even take it and put it with the blue. All of these mix and match. Mm -hmm. So why did I care about that? Well, because I have to change my linen once a week, okay? That's just me. Um, but I'm also incredibly lazy, and I don't always do my laundry every week. So <laughs> it is really great for me. So what I would like for my home and what I enjoy is to have a mix. Okay. So particularly because we're having a January white sale, as far as I can see, in the middle, in the beginning of April. Yes. Um, what for me I would do is I would probably pick up the ecru, so that I have, you know, in the same thing we talk about the column in, in how we dress. Mm -hmm. Your ecru is your base if that's a color that you like, and then I'd pick up the green. And I'm not normally one to say get one in every color. I will even, you know, I've done it to everybody. Somebody will say, oh, you should get one in every color. And I'm like, no, you shouldn't. But when it comes to your linens, the easiest way to redecorate in your bedroom is with your linens. Mm -hmm. And I will tell you, I've got sort of my spring summer group. I've got my fall winter group. We will not be back with another home collection until the end of this year. Wow. And it's a very different collection very different. But what I love is to be able to mix and match. So, you know, if I get anything on my, let's say my pillowcase, yes. then I've got another one, I just throw it in there. And also because I can layer up the colors, which I love. If you want a more neutral feeling, I mean, the green with the rose, look how beautiful the printed green and rose are, right? The, the, the sage and rose, but you can also do it as, as a pure solid, you know, combination. Mm -hmm. And that works. When you see it up here, you can see how beautiful all the different textures. We've got the wonderful softness of the quilt that we talked about earlier. Now the linens with prints and solids, and then the duvet, which gives us that satin feeling. You know, there's two things I've always wondered about, and I really do have to come out with a glass line because I think it's so ridiculous. I've been wearing the same black glasses for I don't know how many years, and I think of glasses as face jewelry, right? right, right. And yet I wear the same darn glasses every day. Like, I definitely need to change that up. But one of the things I've also felt is when I get a little bored, the easiest room for me to change up is my bedroom because I'm not recovering that couch and I don't right. want to get new chairs. Linens are the most wonderful way to just change it up. Yes. And so whether it's my collection or anybody else's collection here at HSN, it's such a wonderful way to redecorate. And when you can get things on sale yes. in April for your bedding, it's just such a great way to go. And you will love the percale because every time you wash it, it's going to get softer and softer mm. and softer. Mm -hmm. They are just they're just absolutely yummy. And they are. And and I'll, I'll tell you, you know, as you're choosing your color, either your solid or your print, and you're loving these, you're right. When you change your linens, it is the fastest and easiest and quickest way for you to change the entire look of your bedroom because your bed is the largest piece of furniture in your bedroom. And if you're loving these and you're saying, oh, I love, I love the fact it's 100% cotton and 300 thread count and it's per kale because maybe you sleep hot as well and you want something that is gonna help with a more comfortable night's sleep, then go for it. We've got full Queen King and California King 081044. I also wanted to share with you, we've got this little tease of the decorative birdcage that we've got coming up for you. Um, I can't wait to, again, take you through all the details here, the uh, inspiration behind this, but it is coming up. We took about $50 off our regular HSN price, but you don't have to wait. We've got so much more of Win Home coming up on the other side of this. by Juliana is for the confident, fashionable, amazing woman. She can expect to feel comfortable. She can also expect a lot of compliments. They'll be asking, who are you wearing? 
It's Customer Appreciation Month, and it's all about you. For the entire month of April, we're showing the love to our HSN Card VIPs with exclusive perks like VIP Tuesdays. Get a special offer every Tuesday in April, plus extra flex on every item under $369 all day every day, or VIP financing on so many items. Not a card member? Apply now and instantly get $40 off when you're approved. Visit hsn.com slash hsncard or call 1-800-695-1418 for details on our exclusive VIP offers. Thank you for being at HSN Card. VIP. Inspiration comes to me from everywhere. It's not just about recognizing a trend, but knowing it will become tomorrow's classic. I love bringing you my favorites. Whether it's hand-picked gemstones or fashion must-haves straight from my closet. These are beautiful things that inspire me. Style is self-expression, and it's a thrill to share my collections with you. Only on HSN and at hsn.com. Well, we have so much going on here at HSN. Check hsn.com. I don't want you to miss anything like our big beauty deals. We've got 25% off or more on some of your favorite brands. Maybe it's Beekman, maybe it's Tan Lux, maybe it's um, Nakery, maybe it's Clinique. We've got it all for you there. You'll never know uh, until you check it out. Our big beauty deals right there on hsn.com. Okay, I also have an update for you because we're talking win home in this hour. The hair lamp is gone. Oh, I'm so glad for all of you who got that. You're going to love it. It is going to be the most talked about piece in the room, whichever room you put it in. So goodbye, hair. Can't wait to see what Marla comes uh, and brings us uh, in the future. But we're sticking with the bed right now. So we had the sheets that are still available for you. Uh, we had the coverlet, that velvet coverlet that was textured and beautiful and fantastic. This is your three-piece duvet set. So you're gonna get the duvet in full queen or king. You get the shams, the two shams. You decide the color you want. And here you've got these beautiful prints. So on the bed you see the blue mirage, uh, fantastic. We also have the sage and the ecru and the black. Look at how fantastic. Um, and these are on a sale price. So you can see, not only do you have them on sale, you also have them on three flex pay. So you're getting, if you're getting the full queen, you're getting it home for under $20 on flex pay. It's $19.98. These are customer picks, Marla, on hsn.com. And these are also, I remember seeing a duster that, uh, that you had brought to us in this ecru print. I felt I fell in love with it. I love the idea of bringing that texture and that luxury all the way through. The idea behind this was to create a whole environment. And I want to talk to you about duvets because when I first moved to Europe, I didn't know what a duvet was. <laughs> I knew what a bedspread was. And I will tell you, in my house, when you were growing up, it was get off the bedspread, kids. <laughs> and I'd be like, Mom, it's fabric. It's like clothes. Why? We would literally get in trouble if we laid on our mm -hmm. bedspread because it was a big deal then. We didn't yes. have the kind of washing machines. We didn't have the dryers we had. And my mom didn't want to do any more laundry than I do. But I will tell you one thing. When I moved to Europe, I found that I couldn't even find bedspreads. Mm -hmm. It was all about the duvet, and I didn't understand why. Well, let me tell you why. Because you sleep in it, and then the dog curls up with you, <laughs> or maybe you had a little popcorn that night, yeah. or you spilled something. I do have a tendency to love to treat myself often when I get off air to dinner in bed. Mm -hmm. Needless to say, I, I have got to wash everything every week, and my duvet comes off the bed every single week and has to get washed. So I keep two duvets at all times because I'm obscene and I'm obs obsessive. Mm -hmm. Now, let me talk to you about what to look for in a duvet. Okay. One of the biggest pains in your tushy <laughs> when it comes to a duvet is finding the zipper. So we have an invisible zipper on this. Okay. But if you notice, there is a teeny tiny tassel okay. that I've put on the zipper so you can find the zipper. 
right? Mm -hmm. Teeny tiny little beautiful tassel that's on each one of these so that you can find it because it is so discreetly done. It is so elegantly done that you won't even notice it. So that's number one. Now inside your duvet are four string uh, little like ribbons in the corners of each one. And if you've never made a duvet, do you use a duvet? Yes, I do on all of my beds. Right? Yes. So you know, if, you, if they're cheapies, let me tell you what you're not going to find in the corners. Mm -hmm. You're not going to find those little uh, ties. Mm -hmm. So you turn it inside out, you tie the two ends of your quilt or whatever you put in there. And you know what else? If you've never done a duvet, take your ugly old bedspread and put that in <laughs> <laughs> it's also, honestly, you don't have to go out and buy, I mean, I happen to love a down filled duvet cover because it, it's, it's so breathable and it works all seasons, but honestly, just take some ugly old, whatever you got laying around that you want to mm -hmm. upgrade, right? Put that inside of here. They are so beautiful. And again, they mix and match. So let's talk about it because we brought black into this group. Why did I do that? Because I think it is so elegant. But how am I going to do my bed with black? Well, I'm going to take rose, for example, and use that to pop it. Because remember, we talked earlier about how the print captures every single color. So I could make my bed with the rose. I could make the bed with the sage because yes. the sage is in there. I could even make it with the beautiful blue mirage because that's in there. And as you know, we're out of the print in uh, the sheets in the ecru, mm -hmm. but look how cool this is. If you missed out on those, look what you do. You take, let's just pick the blue. I okay. could pick any of the colors. This is what I can do with my bed. If I do the ecru duvet and shams and the black, Look at how it all mixes and matches together so beautifully. When is the last time you were able to go out and buy mix and match linens? <laughs> In the old days, the only way I could do it is I buy all white and it, you, you can't tell the difference. You right. know what I mean? Right. But it's so boring. And this is such a beautiful way to do it. All of these colors mix and match. The black is elegant. For example, let's say you have a little guest room. Mm -hmm. and you want to really make it something special take the black mix up the colors because you know what guests we walk by our guest rooms most of the time and then every once in a while there's a guest in the guest room <laughs> and you, you know you can take and do a very light colored rug with it you've yes. got beautiful pinks in here you've got the greens in here you've got the blues in here and if you look carefully mm -hmm. you will see that the print on the duvet is the same uh, pattern as the quilt that's on the coverlet, all of these pieces mix and match to give you a scrumptious, yummy way to redecorate. So you might say, oh, the ecru duvet is gonna be my spring summer go-to with pink. Mm -hmm. And you could say, oh, the winter is gonna be, I'm gonna do the blue mirage or I'm gonna do the black. There's so many different ways you can mix and match these pieces. Do you see how no matter what color, it's not like, oh, you've got to go all ecru or you've got to go all sage or you've got right. to do just the rose or just the blue mirage. Everything mixes and matches. The black is stunning. It yes. is absolutely exquisite. The easiest one is the ecru. Mm -hmm. And it just depends on what color your walls are. Um, the backing of this is in satin. So it's very soft, very easy, washes beautifully, doesn't wrinkle. Because I had a tormented childhood of not being able to curl up on my bed because I would <laughs> wrinkle it or do I don't know what to it. So this is a plop down, enjoy it, throw it in the wash and throw it in the dryer kind of uh, set. I'm glad that you, well, I'm glad that you were able to turn that torment 
into luxury <laughs> for us. I think we can all um, kind of relate when it came to don't sit on the, the bedspread because you're right, it wouldn't get washed. It wouldn't get um, the same kind of treatment that a duvet could get very easily. And I love the details that you put in, not only the satin on the back, and you're getting the shams as well as the duvet, um, but also the tassel to help you find that zipper, the ties on the inside so it makes it easy for you to put your duvet on the inside and then flip this inside out. It is really beautiful. And if you want to kind of see- comes. Yes. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry I didn't mean to interrupt you. I also just want to point out, it comes in a beautiful little self cover. Oh. So it's, you, and you know what I use these for? What? When I travel, I yes. put things in these. So I have these pretty little bags that I put things in, but now I'm going to put them in my pretty little bench here. And we'll talk about that shortly. Yes. Oh, I love that, Marla. You really have thought of everything. In addition to the fact that if you were able to get maybe some of the coordinating apparel pieces that Marla brought, can you imagine? I mean, we would feel literally like old Hollywood with the duster. That's Marla's duster. If we still have any on hsn.com, check it out and pick it up, okay? She also had some, there was a pant um, option there in the same Are you print. have a good memory. Oh, you yes. You have a good memory. You know what happened is we intended to do a whole home and sort of pajama collection, but if you'll remember, <laughs> we've had a few shipping issues over the past couple of years. <laughs> and so the apparel came in and the bedding hadn't come in and blah, blah, blah. Yes. Um, that is the bedroom in my mom's house. And it just went so perfectly with everything that she had in that gorgeous bedroom that I just had to show it off because I love, you can see how I layer up a bed. Oh, I love it. It's really beautiful. Just just easy elegance, as you were saying. Um, so we do continue. You can keep shopping for the duvet and the sheets and the coverlet, uh, anything else. But I wanted to share this with you. This is your tufted storage bench. I love it because um, you can put it almost anywhere, but I love it at the foot of the bed. Not only is it beautiful and tufted, it's strong. It can hold up to 300 pounds, which is fantastic. You've got beautiful details on the feet. You've got the tufting on the top. It feels, um, you've got this amazing velvet feel, but then you lift it up and this is where you store whatever it is you might need to store. Like I can almost get in here. There's so much space inside. And I even <laughs> love that it's, um, you've got the, the fabric that goes all the way through. So anything you put in, maybe you have um, certain treasures or things like that that you wanna put in, everything is nice and protected on the inside. Let's talk about this bench. Well, I, if Walter could speak, he would tell you about it because <laughs> this dog, I, he has a persnickety owner. <laughs> And he's a persnickety. He, I have the judgiest dog. There are times he looks at me like, what are you doing? What, like, <laughs> real? look at this. Aww. Like, cut me right now. Not for a second am I, watch, he'll just keep coming back and pulling my ear. <laughs> um, this is so soft. Yeah. It, and I like it at the end of the bed. And the reason I like it at the end of the bed, that's where all my linens go. That's mm -hmm. it. That's all. Can you guys in the studio give me a... Um, a close up of the leg on these yeah. because I will tell you we went through dozens. Mm -hmm. This these are beautifully hand carved spindle legs. When you get it home, you'll just I, I believe we did screw them in. Um and they are again, they have a touch of old world to them. I love a home that is a blend of very, my, my artwork is very modern. My furniture is a blend of modern and antiques because I'm more of a collector versus um, a, a decorator. Mm -hmm. I'm really not a decorator. I've collected the things that are in my life. And this is a great place for me to put all of my linens. So it's perfect at the end of the bed. It's the preferred perch of Walter, my dog. Mm -hmm. And it's a really great place also to just plop down and you know get your shoes on and off mm -hmm. or just change. And it's a nice way to end the bed. You know, right. it just, it's a, it's a little punctuation mark at the end of the bed. It's in the beautiful Ecru. It's a 4.5 star. It's a, it's really a wonderful, wonderful piece because you can store in it. Yes. It's enough to store all of your linens. Well, I put all of my linens in it. No problem. 
and you can see it's cushioned when you are sitting on it, putting on your shoes or having a conversation or something like that. Maybe just, you know, some people I know don't sit on the bed at all. They'll either sleep in the bed or they're out and you wanna have another seating area. And some, you know, uh, bedrooms are large enough to have a, you know, an easy chair or a or love seat or a sofa. Mine isn't, <laughs> so I love no, the idea no. that I can actually have an extra seating area that not only looks good, it's functional. Like you said, for pillows, for off-season kinds of things, for extra blankets, all of the things that we need to be able to get to quickly, um, but you don't have to have them all the time. And now you've got a place for these. It holds up to 300 pounds, which is fantastic. Um, it, it is strong and sturdy. It weighs 26 pounds. You've got that lid, you've got the inside, and it's beautifully made and it feels good. So like, even if you're not sitting on it, like you said, it finishes the end of the bed so beautifully. It just kind of everything flows together, Marla. We took about $120 off of our regular HSN deal price. So you are getting the benefit of having a fantastic piece that maybe you've been wanting or needing. And now look, you can finish off your bed. Here's the item number on this one. I know this was just a quick look. It's 771179. That's the item number to get this one home. All right, so definitely enjoy that tufted, that tufted storage bench. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move on over because you've been kind of seeing and peeking the decorative uh, birdcage throughout the entire show. And now it's time for us to really dive into the details on this one. Now, this um, one is on sale. We took $40 off of our regular HSN deal price. It is 30 inches high. It's 15 and a half inches or 15.1 inches from side to side. And then it's 8.1 inches from front to back. Marla, let's talk about the birdcage. Okay, so the birdcage obsession goes back to when we lived in France, we had a place in Saint-Rémy in Provence. And I'd go to these little flea markets and kind of garage sales and things, and I would find bird cages. Now, I don't wish to own a bird. I have never put a bird in a bird cage in my life, but I put a lot of other things in bird cages. For example, in this one, just a pretty little um, floral arrangement. It looks beautiful with like an orchid that's growing or, or an amaryllis. I noticed last weekend there were these great um, uh, wax covered amaryllis bulbs it would look gorgeous growing in here. Mm. So I put different things in here because this is a fully functioning little door. Um, but I started collecting bird cages ages ago. And when I said to HSN, I want to do a bird cage, they went, well, okay. <laughs> you know, with sort of that tone of, okay, Marla, yeah. <laughs> so a hair and a bird cage, okay, okay. why? <laughs> well, I did, I, I, I did a post um, on our social media and I, I put pictures of bird cages and I said, what do you think of these? And would you like to own one? Mm -hmm. And all I had to do was send the results back of which there were hundreds yes. to HSN and they went, we'll be doing that. No <laughs> problem. This comes fully assembled. It's very lightweight. In my kitchen, I have one of those bay windows above the sink. Yes. This is so great to put in a bay window because it lets the light through but it still gives you a decorative look. Yeah. If you have a little corner of your house that's a little bit of a yawn, put this on a table, it's special. Put a small collection of little vases in it. Put nothing in it. Right. I do love, the way I like to show it is I leave the little cage open because the bird flew, the non-existent bird flew away. Okay. It, it's just such a beautiful little piece. It's a conversation piece mm -hmm. and it's a bit like a rabbit lamp. It's a mm -hmm. smile. This yes. is a smile piece. And there is something so charming about bird cages, and there are so many different kinds. I remember um, many, many years ago, I spent time by myself in Tokyo, and I went to this little um, restaurant, uh, morning place that was frequented by the men of the, the village outside of, of the city that I was visiting. And what did they have? It was a place where the men would bring their bird cages in the morning mm. with birds. Wow. Right? So every, yeah, isn't that interesting? And yes. so there'd be the Twitter of these little birds. And yeah, it was kind of very charming. Yes. But when I was in Provence and I saw these bird cages, I just fell in love with them. Mm -hmm. So like many of the things that I prize in my life, I have a beautiful white one that's somewhat like this. Yes. That is 
sitting in storage with everything else I own. <laughs> I, you know, it's funny. In the beginning, I didn't miss some of it, but yes. now as time goes on, I do. Yes. So one of these days, I got to get a house all my own and just put it all back in there. Yes. But I just absolutely love it. It's charming. It's fun. Mm -hmm. You know, I, mean, listen, I don't want to sell against myself. Well, but me, let me do that for a moment. You can buy a sweater for $99. Yes. Or you can buy a piece like this that every time you walk into that special corner, mm -hmm. that special part of your home, this is another piece that's a conversation piece and very special and is there every single day to put a smile on your face and that's some charm right. in your home. That's right. And that's what it does. It's texture, it's beauty, it's unexpected. And we've got it for you. We took $40 off of our regular HSN deal price and you can get it. Call us or shop on hsn.com um, and we would love to send it to you. And this would actually be perfect because Today's VIP Tuesday, for today only, okay, during the week. You can save $20 on orders of $99 or more when you use your HSN card and with this code, 181608. Use that at checkout. That would make your birdcage $79.95, okay? So if ever there was an opportunity to pick that up now, is the time. If you don't have an HSN card and you want to get in on those benefits of having it, uh, call us or you can apply for one at hsn.com slash hsn card. Okay, we've got only just a few more minutes left with Win Home in this hour, and I wanted to share these with you. So we started off the show with the candles, uh, the duo, the candle duo. A lot of you picked those up. We had the mirrors as well but some of you were saying but tell me about the picture frames you're getting a set of two you're getting this beautiful um star frame and the square shape or the, the circle shape frame as you can see right there you're getting both of them and they come with mounting hardware if you do decide to mount them on the wall but i love them kind of sitting uh, right here you can have both of these together today at less than 35 dollars. and marla i love that the frames are just as beautiful and memorable as very likely the pictures that we're going to put inside of them so these are inspired by pieces that came from my personal collection that I've had for years. These are examples of something which is called tramp art. And tramp art was a movement um, that's been found throughout the world. And originally, do you see how they're layered up? Yes. Particularly the star one, you can see this. They were originally made from discarded cigar boxes or wow. shot, you know, crates that fruits and vegetables would come. And then they were whittled into layers of geometric patterns. And it was kind of a, a way of, of creating very intimate personal art objects. Um, but I neither smoke cigars, nor do I whittle. Mm. <laughs> so instead I shop, right? <laughs> and I gave it the same antique finish as you see on the mirrors. Mm -hmm. Why? Because in our house, I did remove the back of the little thing you can unscrew these uh the little um, piece on the back mm -hmm. um so that the uh the stand doesn't show which is what i did um and i hung it next to my mirrors along with other gold frames and wood frames that i've collected over the years i would guess i have a collection of frames now i will say that my children have each like um taken their share of them for their picture walls because it's such a tradition in our family but I would say that over the years I collected a couple hundred and I chose the gold because I like that very sort of worn patina look mm -hmm. both of them again these are happy pieces they're you know I do drama kimonos I do statement pieces a lot of what we do um, are not basics they're statement pieces in my jewelry and a lot of our knits and my home collection is really part of my lifestyle. And my lifestyle is I need the basics, you know, a simple table, but fabulous pieces on it. Blank walls, but interesting moments on those walls. I like my house to feel collected, mm -hmm. which means I have a very eclectic home. And as I said, in, in a space with concrete, polished concrete floors and exposed metal beams, iron beams, these kinds of pieces are beautiful. If you have a more traditional home, they go with it. Pieces like this are classics. They have a history to them. Mm -hmm. And I have always loved tramp art. 
And so that's what we chose to do. I love, I love, and you educate us as well about how and why these were created, why you chose them. You're getting both of them. And I like that they are different in their own way. Um, you can put a, a four by four photo in one, a six inch diameter photo in another. And they really do, they, they are a statement piece. Don't they stand out and look beautiful with the entire collection that we have here. So go ahead and pick these up. These are 770-533, that's the item number to get them home. And they are that gold black kind of play there as well. So enjoy these customer picks and everything else that you've seen in this hour. Marla, I know that our hour of win home is over, but I know we're gonna see you again this evening at around 6 p.m. 6 p.m., we had an amazing night last night and we have more new and some great deals coming at you later in the day. So enjoy your day and I'll see you all later. Thank you so much, Marla. Always so fun to spend the hour with you. You can keep shopping for anything that you've seen in this hour, but we do have more. I told you I was gonna be with you for a little while this afternoon and I'm gonna run over to Studio A because we've got daily deals and top finds, which means our today's special and beauty and so much more. Here I go, come with me. Sky and I'm the manager on the 